Good day welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's me again teacher Yang. Before we proceed to our discussion make sure that you like, share and subscribe for more upcoming video. For today's lesson talk about festival and theater arts of China, Japan, Indonesia and Thailand for quarter 4. Peking Opera China is known for their traditional theater art form. The Peking Opera or Beijing Opera which combines music, vocal performance, pantomime, dance, and acrobatics. It started in the late 18th century and became fully developed and recognized by the mid-19th century. During the Qing Dynasty court it became extremely popular and came to be regarded as one of the cultural treasures of China. Peking Opera Training Pupils were often handpicked at a young age by a teacher and trained for seven years on contract from the child's parents. After 1911, training took place in more formally organized schools. Students at these schools rose as early as 5 o'clock in the morning for exercises. Daytime was spent learning the skills of acting and combat, and senior students performed in outside theaters in the evening. Roles and Characters 1. Shed is the main male role in Peking Opera. 8. Zi Ocean actors are often involved with beautiful women by virtue of the handsome and young image they project. B. Zi is a martial character for roles involving combat. They are highly trained in acrobatics, and have a natural voice when singing. C. Lat Ocean is a dignified older role, these characters have a gentle and cultivated disposition, and wear sensible costumes. 2. Dance refers to any female role in Peking Opera. 8. Leia Dan, Old Woman B. Wooden, Martial Woman C. Gao Madden are young female warriors D. Kitty I are virtuous and elite women E. Huiden are vivacious and unmarried women 3. Jing is a painted face male role who plays either primary or secondary roles. This type of role entails a forceful character which means that a Jing actor must have a strong voice and be able to exaggerate gestures. The red color denotes loyalty and goodness, white denotes evil, and black denotes integrity. For Zhou is a male clown role. The Zhou usually plays secondary roles whose name also means ugly. It reflects the traditional belief that the clown's combination of ugliness and laughter could drive away evil spirits. Visual performance elements. Peking opera performers utilize for main skills. 1. Song. 2. Speech. 3. Dance acting. This includes pure dance, pantomime, and all other types of dance. 4. Combat. Includes both acrobatics and fighting with all manner of weaponry. The meaning of colors in Peking opera masks slash make UPS. Red, devotion, courage, bravery, uprightness and loyalty. Black, Roughness and fierceness. Yellow, fierceness, ambition and cool headedness. Purple, uprightness, sophistication and cool headedness. Reddish purple, just and noble character. Blue, loyalty, fierceness and sharpness. White, dangerousness, suspiciousness and craftiness. Commonly seen on the stage is the white face for the powerful villain. Green, impulsive and violent and stubbornness. Zayatu Aline the petty painted face is a small patch of chalk on and around the nose. Clowns of traditional drama who wears this special makeup show the mean and secretive character. The aesthetic aims and principles of movement. The highest aim of performers in Peking Opera is to put beauty into every motion. The art form, gestures, settings, music, and character types are determined by long held conventions. Conventions of movement. Walking in a large circle always symbolizes traveling a long distance. Character straightening his or her costume and headdress symbolizes that an important character is about to speak. Pantomimic opening and closing of doors and mounting and descending of stairs. Staging and costumes. Stages. Square platforms. The action on stage is usually visible from at least three sides. Stages were built above the line of sight of the viewers but some modern stages have been constructed with higher audience seating. Divided into two parts by an embroidered curtain called a Xiaoju. Costume, Xingtu. Popularly known as Zifu in Chinese origins of Peking opera costumes can be traced back to the mid-14th century. 
enable the audience to distinguish the character's sex and status at first glance if noble or humble, civilian or military. Officials or private citizens give expression to sharp distinctions between good and evil or loyal. And wicked characters of long wings chivy attached to a gauze hat indicate a loyal official. In contrast, a corrupt official is made to wear a gauze hat with rhomboidal wing. Props Utilizes very few props will almost always have a table and at least one chair. Which can be turned through convention into such diverse objects as a city wall, a mountain, or a bed. The whip is used to indicate a horse and a door symbolizes a boat. Musicians are visible to the audience on the front part of the stage. Viewers always seated south of the stage, therefore, north is the most important direction. Performers immediately move to center north upon entering the stage. All characters enter from the east and exit from the west. Kabuki of Japan Kabuki is a form of traditional Japanese drama with highly stylized song, mime, and dance, now performed only by male actors. Japanese, originally as a verb meaning back dissolutely, later interpreted as AA, song, bushels, dance and keep, art flash skill. Kabuki theater is known for the stylization of its drama and for the elaborate makeup worn by some of its performers. Kabuki is therefore sometimes translated as the art of singing and dancing. Since the word kobuki is believed to derive from the verb kabuku, meaning to lean or to be out of the ordinary kabuki can be bizarre theater. The expression kobuki mona referred originally to those who were bizarrely dressed and paraded on a street. The kabuki stage features Hanamaichi, the flower path, the walkway which extends into the audience and via which dramatic entrances and exits are made. Kokani also perform on a Hanamaichi stage with her entourage. Kogakudo KABUK are theaters that have stages both in front of the audience and along the sides help create a bond between the actors and viewers. Mawaro Butyl the interior of the theater contains the revolving stage. Sapon a platform that rises from below the stage. Hanamaiko, the walkway that cuts through the audience seating area to connect the stage with the back of the theater. Magicians and supernatural beings often make their entrances from trap doors in the Hanamaichi. Some stages have 17 trap doors. The three main categories of the Kabuki play are Jivamano, historical, or pre-Sengoku period stories, Sumano, domestic, or post-Sengoku stories, and Shosegato, dance pieces. Jivamano, or history plays, were set within the context of major events in Japanese history. Strict censorship laws during the Edo period prohibited the representation of contemporary events and particularly prohibited criticizing the show Gunnet or casting it in a bad light, although enforcement varied greatly over the years. Suomono focused primarily upon commoners, townspeople and peasants. It is generally related to themes of family drama and elements of Kabuki. Mike, in which the actor holds a picturesque pose to establish his character and his house name Yago, is sometimes heard in a loud shout copy go from expert audience members serving both to express and enhance the audience's appreciation of the actor's achievement. Kishio an even greater compliment can be paid by shouting the name of the actor's father. Actors are separated into two main categories. Anagata, female roles and Aragato, male roles. Most main characters in Kabuki plays are Aragato, because of its super stylized masculine, heroic style. Kabuki hero character. Makeup is also one of the most iconic parts of Kabuki. Actors apply their own makeup by painting their faces and necks white, then adding stylized lines in red, black, or blue. The colors and lines that are used tell you what kind of character is being performed. Red and blue are usually Arakato roles, Anagata playing young women. Have very little paint. Kabuki makeup provides an element of style easily recognizable even by those unfamiliar with the art form. Rice powder is used to create the white Oceroid base for the characteristic stage makeup. And Kumandri enhances or exaggerates facial lines to produce dramatic animal or supernatural character. The color of the Kumandri is an expression of the character's nature. Red lines are used to indicate passion, heroism, righteousness, and other positive traits. Pink, for youthful joy. Light blue, for an even temper. Pale green, for peacefulness blue or black, for villainy, jealousy, and other negative traits. 
green, for the supernatural, and purple, for nobility. Kabuki is performed in full day programs. Audiences escape from the day to day world, devoting the full day to entertainment. Though some individual plays, particularly the historical John Damino, might last an entire day, most were shorter and sequenced with other plays in order to produce a full day program. The play occupies five acts. The first corresponds to joke, an auspicious and slow opening which introduces the audience to the characters and the ha, speeding events up, culminating almost always in a great moment of drama or tragedy in the third act and possibly a battle in the second and slash or fourth acts. Q is almost always short, providing a quick and satisfying conclusion. Kabuki props are often quite interesting. Flowing water is usually represented by fluttering rolls of linen, and creatures like insects and foxes. Props often have symbolic meanings. Fans are used to symbolize wine, a sword, a tobacco pipe, waves or food. Costumes are swung from sticks or manipulated by helpers who come on stage dressed in black hooded robes so they are invisible to the audience. The female characters generally wear an elaborate kimono and obi. Pleated hakuma trousers are worn by characters of sexes. Actors playing both sexes often have a supported midriff because a straight and curveless figure are regarded the essence of beauty. Costume changing is considered as an art. There are special teams that take care of complete and partial costume changes and are done as part of the performances. Wigs are important accessories, with each costume having its own type. Specialized craftsmen shape the wigs to the head. Wigs are made of human hair or horse hair or bear fur or yak tail hair imported from Tibet. Wayang Kulit of Indonesia Wayang refer to kinds of puppet theaters. Sometimes the puppet itself is referred to as Wayang. Performances of shadow puppet theaters are accompanied by a gamma land orchestra in Java and by gender Wayang in Bali. Wayang Kulit, or shadow puppets, are without a doubt the best known of the Indonesian Wayang. Kulit means skin, and refers to the leather construction of the puppets that are carefully shaped with very fine tools, and supported with carefully shaped buffalo horn handles and control rods. The stories are usually drawn from the Hindu epics. 1. Ramayana 2. Mahabharata 3. Sarah Mitnak, the story about the heroism of Amir Hamza. Wayang Kulit performance consists of shadows cast on a cotton screen and an oil lamp. In Java, most often used as a light source is a halogen electric light Wayang Sando Sayer has employed spotlights, colored lights and other innovation. The handwork in making the Wayang Kulit. Figure 1. They start from master model typically on paper which are traced out onto skin or parchment, providing the figures with an outline and with indications of any holes that will need to be cut such as for the mouth or eyes. 2. The figures are then smoothed, usually with a glass bottle and primed. The structure is inspected and eventually the details are worked through. The further smoothing follows before individual painting, which is undertaken by yet another craftsman. 3. Finally, the movable parts upper arms, lower arms with hands, and the associated sticks for manipulation, are mounted on the body, which has a central staff by which it is held. Elements of performance. The fundamental components of a performance include the puppeteer, Delang Javit slash Dalong Bali a hammer used by the Delang to knock on the puppet box, C. Impala metal plates that the Delang hits with his foot, KPM the traditional Indonesian orchestra, Gamma Lan shadow puppets, Wayang Kulit the light source, Blanken female singers and a male chorus. The signed hand and pen arose the screen frame and screen. A whack and clear, the main focus of the performance banana logs, Jadid Bog. The pointed sticks of the wahoo base handle pierce the peeled trunk of a banana tree and the spongy substance holds the puppets in place a puppet box. Caught head? Hang Shadow Puppets of Thailand. Shadow Puppet. Shadow Puppet. Type, Nhang was one form of public entertainment in the south of Thailand. It is still very popular at village festivals temple fairs, and celebrations such as marriages. Its characters are made from intricately cut out and articulated shapes of leather. They are delicately colored, but this does not show during a performance as the puppets appear only in shadow against a white sheet. 
with light shining through from behind. They are manipulated with rods that control movements of the arms and legs. Performances Have a religious theme or have an episode from the Ramayana epic which contains dozens of individual stories. They may also be specially written to include up-to-the-minute reflections, songs, and poems about local events and matters of current interest in the district or country. There are hundreds of different characters each with a distinctive shadow. But the show will almost always include a clown, funny old man, scattered, brain old woman or rather stupid yokel, who are all great favorites with the fun, loving audiences. Mr. Suchart Satson, he is a man of many talents, he is not only an expert in the craft of making the puppets but he is also an award, win writer and poet. He is narrator, speaking or singing all the parts using different voices, and he is a superb mimic. Hang recites tales of the gods and contemporary people through stories of love, current events, and tradition. The shadow puppets used in the Hang represent the norms and mores of Thai society. Themes commonly seen in Hang performances include family conflict fantastic adventures of a wandering hero, star-crossed lovers and romantic tales, Hermes teaching magic to their apprentices, and abandoned children seeking lost loved ones. The Nang attempts to relay to the audience the importance of Thai values and ideologies in a changing world. However, the mystical and historical events remain fundamental in all performances. The association with karma all actions have equal reactions and the underlying message of rewards and punishments act as allegories for Buddhist morality and philosophy. And it is usually performed during the country's dry season February to August. Two types of the Nang. 1. Nang Tila is played with leather puppets, each representing a separate character, about 50 cm high. They usually possess a movable, jointed arm controlled by a string. 2. Nang Yai is normally made of cowhide and rattan, a large, decorated scenes and characters measuring around two meters high and a meter wide. They do not have jointed arms, but the themes and styles remain the same. The Banks Theatre Troupe These usually consists of five to ten puppeteers and musicians. Nabai Hang, the teachers and presenters of the Nang to Lung. There are over 300 Nabai Hang in the southern regions of Thailand. They perform using the puppets on a backlight white screen and hide themselves in small wood and bamboo shelters. The performances run from dusk to dawn and incorporate narration, songs, prose, and the performer's improvised dialogue. The rhythm and fluidity of each performance is essential in maintaining audience interest, thus the Nabinang must vary their techniques and storylines. Characters such as gods and goddesses, kings and queens, magical figures, and comedians, it is the Nabi Bang's responsibility to act as an intermediary between the community and the gods. Thus the Nang and its producers are highly respected and greatly entwined into Thailand's cultural fibers. Thank you for watching.